Hello, everyone. We are playing the first Earn to Die. I've been sitting on this for a little bit. I uh, haven't really... <coughs> I've always actually wanted to play this, but the thing has never had the money for it. And I know, well, it really doesn't cost that much. Uh, I got other things that I spend money on, not just saving up for one thing that barely costs a dollar. Well, actually, I think it costed two dollars. I don't remember, maybe two ninety nine. As someone will have to check that for me. Oh, there's a Halloween mode and a championship. Okay. That's interesting. But when I turned the music off, I didn't expect it to mute the entire game. Oh boy. Well, not as well. Okay, so see, this is set up differently. Well, let's go. Already? Dang. Okay. Look at the fuel on this thing sucks. Okay. Really ain't getting much of anywhere with just this. I usually just save the... I think I want to treat this like how I treat the second one. Just use up what fuel I can and then use the boost afterwards. Alright. Thank you. Alright. Hmm. All right. Okay. Got to stay ahead of that previous pers uh, personal best. Mm. Eh. 
and time to start blasting. Okay. Now we can keep proceeding. Okay, that engine upgrade actually did a lot. Okay, so unlike the second game, the first game isn't about how much... Uh, gas you got. It's about uh, your engine. Dude! We just went from an old beat up vehicle to a rusted 4x4. Four four. Not gonna lie, this thing just looks janky. <laughs> Okay. Oh, crap. Okay, so we still got the slow mo moments every once in a while. Okay. Let's go. Now we can also rip zombies apart. Okay, so we're making good progress. Okay, so there's just one thing that we haven't maxed out yet. And that's the gearbox. And there we go. Let's 
Stabby, stabby. Well, it's not really a stab, and it's more like a shredding. Okay. It looks like we might, might just have to step it up to our next vehicle. <clears throat> so while we're upgrading that, we'll continue using this. Actually, after this, I might just do a test run to see how well it just works. <clears throat> Who knows? The base form may actually surprise me. Okay, let's test this thing out. Okay, this is definitely an upgrade. <laughs> and this thing, at its base, may uh, carry us uh, at least over half. Yeah. <clears throat> just the, It just sounds like slapping. We're using a hippie van to slap zombies. There's our title right there. Okay, this thing has definitely surprised me. Okay. Man, how in the world is a hippie van feeling like it's a freaking like monster truck over here? What it what is this sorcery? We're taking that crate with us. Dang. Man, screw it. You want a vehicle that works in the apocalypse? Get yourself an old Volkswagen. This thing right here is 
No, not really. I wouldn't actually recommend that in reality. If you're watching this in the future and there's like some zo- like zombies around the world, no, that don't don't let that be your go to. <laughs> Now we moving. There we go. Stabby, stabby. Nutcrackers? Oh boy, that's a visual. Well, I guess I get how it got the name, but still. Oh, jeez. Hold on, let's take a second to just... Look at that. Hungry, hungry hippie van. Hungry, hungry hippos, but it, it's just vans. No zombies kneecaps will survive. Except that guy, he gets off uh, free. Why? I don't know. Oh, you're lucky. Well, time to start blasting. That guy's not so lucky this time. <laughs> that guy's lucky again. <laughs> Skip straight to the five speed.
Or now wait a minute. Now is it the gearbox I actually put in the power in? I have no idea. Okay, this time it's definitely the gearbox putting the work in. And that guy's finally not so lucky. <laughs> Next vehicle, 2,500. Okay, well. Time to start pushing it. That, that guy just falls to his own death, like, what? Bro. <laughs> Let's give this thing a whirl here. Definitely feels like it's got the speed behind it. Definitely a lot smaller. Wonder how this thing's going to end up transforming. Dang! Okay, each vehicle is definitely a noticeable upgrade from the last. Base almost took us all the way there. What if we upgrade the gearbox? Okay, this one with the upgraded gearbox kind of feels about the same. I mean, I could be wrong, but that's just how it feels. Let's try another round with the, the hungry, hungry hippie van. Okay, actually, never mind. I think that's going to be the title Hungry, Hungry Hippie Van.
you know, the maps on here do feel a lot smaller than how they are in the second game. And less detailed. Okay. Let's see if this gets us anywhere. Oh, dang. What if we end up just blasting through the entire game in one sitting? I know it sounds crazy, but we've made it this far in almost half an hour. This definitely makes the zombies easier to get through. Ah. Get the oh final wheel upgrade. Yeah, this might uh, help us get there. Nah. The legs. Oh. Oh. We made it. All right. Is this like, oh, that almost looked like a flamethrower for a second. I was about to be like, what? Dang, that's an awful big uh, machine gun. Oh, we got runners now. Okay. Oh, crap. Oh, 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 and those are added now to, oh, oh, okay, everything just fall then. <laughs> Let's add that. There we go. Now, I know they're not twin propellers, but I swear those propellers look like they came off a crop duster. Am I wrong? Imagine if they uh, make an Earn to Die game where you can actually fly... Uh, <coughs> like, actually use flying vehicles. Or sea vehicles. Now, we did get a train in a rogue. Cogwheels. Dang. Today's forecast is zombie body parts.
Oof. Hmm. I could have bought the other thing, but... Let's go. Oh, dang. Okay, each upgrade is making a little bit more progress. Let's get that gearbox upgraded. Jeez, okay, now we're getting somewhere. This thing just went from zero to piss off in half a second. That's not even a joke. And it's a Kadekris reference, but it's not a a joke, this thing literally just took off. And that's it. This thing's maxed out. Superb. <laughs> okay, so this thing cannot make it, so we'd have to rely on our next vehicle. Which has a minigun, a jet engine, a s is that a freaking supercharger, and a chainsaw. Okay, and one more go should do it.
Okay. And that's that. Let's go. Dang. These trucks get quite start off. Once again, we're back to smacking zombies. Hey, it's got some strength behind it too. It's like it's pure. This is its pure base form too. No upgrades, nothing. This is just its pure base. Wow. <laughs> hmm. Let's get that gearbox uh, upgraded. Things are becoming much more expensive, but we're getting just as much points as that we as we need to be uh, actually spend. I turned into Porky Pig there for a second. But yeah, 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 that's all, folks. Okay, we made it a little further that time. Okay, now we got ourselves a proper four before. Dang, dude, this thing is making short work out of these zombies. <clears throat> Struggles with the running zombies, but dang. Bro did not pass his diving class. You're supposed to have a dang parachute if you're going base jumping. Dang, out of fuel and we're still rolling. <clears throat> okay. Let's go. Man, anytime you play Earn to Die, and it don't matter which one, it's basically just a Michael Bay film. Because there's just explosions, explosions, more explosions, plenty of destruction, and lots of blood. Just put directed by Michael uh, Bay, and there you go. Fits the profile. No one would even know. Okay, we just rolling. Thank <laughs> you. 
jet turbine. Now, do we actually... Oh, that's cool. Okay, I'm so far feeling like this might be my scrappiest run, but due to the booster, we could probably salvage it. Ah, okay, we were close. We were close. Oh, we basically just got a monster truck now. Sign us up for Monster Jam. Dang, dude. This thing's a beast. Man, get your goofy ass off this truck. Nah, you all can't handle this power. Too powerful. The truck's too powerful. Oh, is that a new zombie type? Okay. I see our next challenge is coming early. While we could get that, we're skipping straight to the chainsaw. Coming through. Dude. Literal beast mode here. Anyone want a zombie smoothie? Because we making it. Fresh too. <clears throat> Dang! Oh! Mm, here's our destination. Got there with some gas to spare too. Chain gun time. Oh, dang. Okay, that was actually a bit strong. Okay, okay, this thing's actually struggling now. <clears throat> are the crates weighing more? I feel like they are. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
boost didn't even hold up that well. <laughs> we still just rolling. Oh crap. Yeah, this thing's definitely starting to struggle. And that's it. This thing's completely maxed out now. Dang. Okay. This thing actually goes a little bit more crazy on here when it's fully upgraded. Now, I still don't think this thing's going to get us through uh, this map. We still need the next vehicle, but we should be able to make it a, l a bit further. Okay. Let's keep going. Dang. Okay, I'm going to be real with you. I actually can't tell if this thing's struggling or blasting right now. I mean, it's doing a little bit more struggling, but still, though. Why is it whenever we unlock a new vehicle, it's just absolutely silent? Dang. See, you never think, you never uh, think like the flat base is just going to be able to carry that well and then it just surprises you. Can you make that happen? Uh, 
Oh, crap. That's going to slow us down a bit. Oh, dang. And then it just takes straight off. Okay. Man, this thing is eating this level for breakfast. Dang. Hard to get this thing to start struggling. Alright. The spike cover should help a bit. Okay, not gonna lie, the spike cover actually looks pretty cool. Dang, now we really are blasting. Okay, so yeah, this thing's definitely helping out. So next vehicle. Okay, so we got the bus next. Huh. We wanted to go all the way. We wanted to cover the distance. Any of you actually played Earned to Die before viewers? If you made it this far? That's a good way to finish off that run. Hmm. Yeah, let's put a dang tur set of turbines on it. Oh, crap. Yeah, that's just a minor setback. This thing's pushing, though. This thing don't give a shit. It's just pushing. Stabby, stabby.
Okay. That wasn't too bad. Let's keep the upgrades rolling, though. Ooh, now we're powering through here. <clears throat> Perfect. <coughs> you know, I was actually joking when I said it, but I'm still probably going to split the others into a separate video, but not going to lie with you. We have actually powered through this game. Okay, this t okay, now the terrain's getting more complex. Still not as complex as the second game, but bricks? Okay. That's going to be fun to screw around with. Oh, okay, we cleared the gaps that time. Ah, come on, power through. Dang, we got ourselves around apocalyptic podium. Oh dang, how is adding a gun giving this thing this much power? Touch. Okay, 
Okay, now we're getting chaotic here. Okay, not gonna lie, the way that it, that's animated is actually pretty cool. That's definitely a zombie smoothie maker. If we keep this up, we could probably skip the extra upgrades and get straight to the bus. second game made it end up feel like the next vehicle up was always more heavy duty this uh, this first one just makes each new vehicle feel like an absolute agent of chaos I don't know how else to describe it dang Zombies doing back flips, front flips. Do a flip. You know, I actually wasn't going to record Earn to Die today, but I was going to continue Halo 3, but... The TV's doing that thing again where it doesn't want to register that the 360 is actually on. Yeah, see, when you first start off, it is crazy. And right about here, it starts slowing. Bring this thing to a drag race. It's going to dominate everyone there. Uh, what, bro, trip on a rock or something? He just died out of nowhere. Okay, let's try the bus. And once again, uh, we said screw sound. Well, vehicle sound, that is. Yeah, see what I mean? Each new vehicle is an agent of chaos. Okay. Gracie wants to work the 
register. And I'm like thinking to myself, yeah, I'm like, you know, I keep an eye on that money. There we go. There's the sound we're looking for. Okay, so I'm not even joking with you guys. We may actually finish this in one sitting. Like, I was actually not expecting it, yet here we are. We're already on the bus, and we've got a transfer truck and a military vehicle afterwards. I don't know what they're called. Those big uh, eight-wheeled things. Look, I know you're late for school, but you can't be grabbed onto the rear bumper. That's not how it works. See, that's exactly why you don't do that. Of course, even if we do finish the story mode in one sitting, this isn't going to be the last video. Because there's still the Halloween mode that there is to check out. Okay. What is this? Heavy machine gun. Oh dang, now this thing packs a pun oh dang. Nothing like using a zombie skull as a dang soccer ball. Lucky. Now we're going even crazier. Now, I think one of the things that makes the difference is the fact that you don't get like a weight upgrade until the second game. And the weight on here basically uh, upgrades when you get a new vehicle.
How many times I gotta tell you, you kids, it's not how you catch the bus. <clears throat> Can't ever listen, can they? Ah, uh, we're so, we're right there. Oh, oh, come on. Ah, we almost had the last minute boom. Dang, that's a big thruster there. Okay. Ah, uh, crap. Man, imagine getting on the school bus and it's like in the middle of the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> that big guy down there got lucky. <clears throat>
There we go, now we can rip and tear through some zombies. Oh, dang. Oh, we might actually make it this time. Mmm, perfect landing. Silent Woods. Not going to be so silent anymore. Actually, it probably wasn't silent when the zombies were coming in anyways. Dang. Oh, we got big boys now. They're actually not that hard to get through. Actually, the bus ain't doing too bad at this. Yeah, the most a previous vehicle can do on the next map is just make it, like... Just make it, like, uh, two-thirds the way there. Dang! Some of these zombies are getting sent to different dimensions. Oh, bro got double tapped. Hmm. Feel like we could go ahead and go for that. Okie dokie. Now things are definitely getting expensive. Back to the smacking sound once again. I think this shares the same sound effects that the bus does. <clears throat> now, can this thing show up the bus? Let's see.
Barely. Okay. Thank you. Bloods. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The lugs. Thank you. You're welcome. Dwugs. Oh, Dwugs. The Dwugs. Ah! Ah! So upgrades are definitely getting slower. But again, we should be able to clear out of this entire game, like the entire story mode, just this go. Be there, just stick me. I've done the floor work tonight. Hmm. Nice. Yeah, you know, I know that behind these trucks, and it does look good when it does Of course, he had to take a picture of them and Tony Justice. Oh. Fa ba ba. And now it's showing up the bus a bit. <coughs> Oh, well, now we're pushing through stuff. Just decapitating zombies with this thing. Uh, 
I love that bit right there where you just flip up that. Ex- well, okay, that explode. Jesus, that explosive, and it just gets flung uh, at that. I forgot how to speak. I was surprised. See? Okay. Now, all of a sudden, I'm actually wanting to go back and watch Grace Still Plays' <clears throat> Earn to Die videos. I may do that. Well, after this, of course. Okay, that crate just went to a different... Oh, nope, never mind. There it is. I was about to say, I think that crate to decide to go to a different dimension there. Oh, we were close. We were close. Those two got lucky.
Boom. Ah. Oh. We're right there. We're right directly at the end. Oh, boy. Now this is quite the vehicle. <clears throat> Dang. Uh, we're going to make it this time. Dang, dude, that burst of speed right there. Hey, this thing's definitely a lot weaker now. Oh, I had no part of that explosion over there. Plasma gun. Dang, you should have told me sooner, game. Okay, now we got to do a bit of grinding. And there we go. Final vehicle unlocked. And once again, there's no vehicle sound. This thing looks kind of goofy, but dang, is it able to power through. Uh, she gave me a 
I don't know why there was such a sudden stop there, but okay. Oh. Felt like that thing was about to collapse. Jeez, dude. Look at that takeoff right there is crazy. If you see something like this going that fast in reality, then I think it's time to get scared. Because apparently Einstein built this freaking vehicle. Jesus. Oh boy. Yeah, any of stuff uh, kind of felt like it was going to fall apart there. Oh, timber. This one zombie just out for a morning stroll. Okay, so we have all the gas possible. I can lie with me, you, my thumb's actually kind of cramping this far in. that perfectly. Mm. Ah. Okay, that's a slowdown. And that fell apart again. Oh well, we can make this thing keep powering through. And now this one's falling apart. Okay, roughly about the same spot as before. 
Are you sitting at home living in pain? Maybe it's in your hands or your back or your hips. I'm here to tell you that joint pain Tire upgrade. Oh, 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 we wrote it while it was collapsing. Come on, let's keep pushing it. Almost there. Ah. Getting closer each time, though. Collapsing once again. Okay, we made it a decent bit further. Why that run was shorter. Everybody with their hands up right now, you're correct. Mm. 
Okay. I feel like the suspension on this vehicle is pretty crazy. Like you would think the tires half the time are going straight into the freaking hole. Oh, we might make it this time. We made it. This imagine this big thing pulling up at a gas station. <laughs> Exodus Drive. Attention, parents and grandparents of newborns or babies who have suffered from necrotizing enterocolitis, otherwise known as NEC. Listen carefully because you may be eligible for substantial financial compensation to one of the largest cow milk based infant formulas, Similac and Ethanol. Both can link directly to NEC and premature infants. One study found that premature infants who have fed products such as Similac and Ethanol had a three month and 20 percent higher risk of developing NEC. Injuries range from long term intestinal issues, tissue death, sepsis, and even death. Now we just gotta see if this thing is able to make it. Because there's nothing after this. It's either we make it with this or we don't make it at all. But I feel like this uh, has what we're looking for. This is a 
Indian Sexual Assault Day or Harass and an Uber. And so it's alleged that the popular rideshare company Uber has failed to protect the safety of its passengers by not properly screening their drivers and failing to remove drivers with a history of assault. Hundreds of Uber passengers across the country have taken legal action after being sexually assaulted or harassed by their drivers. If you or a loved one experienced sexual assault or harassment during an Uber ride, you are not alone and you may be entitled to compensation. Soccer Lock Law is dedicated to helping survivors of Uber sexual assault secure justice and compensation. You can request a female case manager. Call Soccer Lock Law today. Made it a little bit further. That's about the tiniest little bit, though. Just pushing through them. that gearbox uh, for starts. The boost I don't really feel like it does too much. Oh dang. That's a cool little animation for that. It's going crazy though. Uh, 
comments. Like the person and they can have the best of the review. And I okay. why I record that. Um, every time I was leaving the home, he was changing diapers. Even if I had just said, I just changed this in the home for a second. When I came back into the house, he was changing another diaper. And the huge excuse is, oh, she changed her food before. Made some excuse to do it. Although, anytime I asked, when you call the girl in your baby's diaper, did you tell him, hey, look, if there's blood in the diaper, I'm taking my daughter to the hospital? No. Why didn't you? Uh, because I didn't want him to have a baby. And you did think it was me? At that time, yes. And what did you have to do to the doctor or was it have to do with the doctor or what did you do? Um, that it was an unknown perpetrator. Um, what could possibly be an unknown perpetrator? I don't know. Not the picture. I mean, he looked at my picture. Was there anybody that could have seen the child between the time he changed the night, the diaper the night before to the diaper the next morning? No. Was he trying to do a window and change the baby diaper? No, he's not the right thing. So, somebody else. Right. So, it's really not. Okay. Brian, you're not the, the father dating six year old son, are you? Well, his father dated, so let's see what he has to say. Okay. Fully maxed out. I feel like it's uh, tearing through them a lot better now. Every little upgrade, I think, tweaks like a certain amount of things.